Hello world, it is Thursday, August 5th, 2021, and it's another beautiful sunny morning this morning. Although I did notice the humidity seems to be on the rise, um, and it isn't quite as cool as it was the last couple nights, so I think we're entering into our another hot cycle again, so be prepared. Remember to drink lots of fluids, stay hydrated. The devotion for today is entitled Enough of Shame by Kaji Dosha. Kaji um, bases the devotion upon an edited excerpt of Genesis 3.8 from the New Revised Standard Version. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the first humans hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Akaji writes, Shame is a powerful tool in religious life. It is a hook designed to bring people back into bounds. It is built to stop us in our tracks and to look to the religious power for relief. Shame is meant to change us, to whip us into submission. Shaming is a violent deterrent, which is why it's such a shame that we so often employ it. This passage from Genesis has been used throughout the ages to justify shaming and violence against pretty much anyone but, but cis-hetero men, which is in itself a shame too, because it didn't have to be that way. The story opens gently. God walks the garden in the cool of the day. God seeks God's people, as God always does, and finds them feeling ashamed. God actually grieves their shame. Did you notice this? God didn't want the first humans to have to experience shame. God tried to protect them from it. They had some curiosity about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and decided to bite. But God wanted to protect them from it, to shield them from information God believed they could not bear, to shelter them from the violence of shame. I believe God to be telling us even now, enough of the shame. You are my beloved. In you I am well pleased. And the prayer. Take now the cool of the day. See me, God, in my nakedness and love every part of me. Embrace us as we are, not as we might be. Amen. Well, this is a good uh, devotion and a good reminder um, about how words can hurt, because that's where shame comes from. Um, I mean, oftentimes we ourselves feel shame over things, but oftentimes it's inflicted upon us by others who um, almost seem to relish in pointing out our deficiencies and the errors of our ways. Um, and that's not love. And that's not who God is. God is not about pointing out our shame, but upon, about pointing out that we are loved so that when we feel ashamed, we have something to hold on to, that God still loves and cares, cares for us and does not want us to feel shame. And I think that's a really good message, and that's really something to hold on to, um, is that we are beloved. And that um, as Kaji completed her devotion, or finished her devotion, enough of the shame, you are my beloved, and you I am well pleased. And let that enter your heart and replace the shame that you feel. Hope you have a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. I'll try to. Tomorrow's Friday, so we'll see how it goes in the morning. And if not, I'll at least try to talk to you on Saturday. Take care.